Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, September 25th, 2019. 62 degrees at about 9.24 a.m. I'm here with my co-star Samuel and Max. Mikey's next door doing I don't know what and I don't know where Elsie is. And that was Bear the Dog barking. We're having a cup of coffee, we're saying some prayers. Just checking out the, the weather and the clouds. and We got rain on the way. I'm trying to figure out. Looks like by the time I get myself and my poop in a group, as it were, it'll be time to go for a bike ride. Probably, I don't know. But first, look at Mikey. Look at him go. He's going on an adventure. Mikey! Oh boy. Oh boy, look at that, Tammy. I woke up, Sammy was with me, and Michael was with me. Michael was with me most of the night, and uh. Where's he going? He's going over to Neighbor Tom's. What's your brother, Maxie? Oh, where do we begin? It's circular, so you can pick any point you like. It's not linear, it's circular, life is. Oh, look at him go. Where's he after? What is he after? Did he see Mr. Squirrel over there? What's going on? Anyway. I don't know what to say, so I think I'm going to have a coffee break. We're back again. Surprise, surprise. Where did you think we'd go? Probably heading straight to hell, but that's that's for another day. Hopefully not this one. Oh yeah, it looks like we got some rain on the way. And I I will ride. There's no doubt about that. I'm loving the new uh, tires we got for the Kona, the 38 millimeter wide as opposed to the 32 millimeter. The uh, they give me a little more support and a little less cushion than the ones that were on there. The profile is different on them. They have more of a rounded profile. The others had a flatter profile on the, the surface and then on the sides they were more square. I know that probably don't make sense on tires, but people that ride bikes understand. Anyway, Mikey's still off on his adventure and I just saw Elsie next door. She should be coming home pretty soon. Um, yeah, the plan is we're just going to sit here and, and do our readings and uh, say our prayers and do some yoga and stretching and read some news stories probably, or what passes as news anyway. All the, all the divisiveness and the stuff that's made to make people fearful and angry of others and not trust anyone and us versus them mentality. And I honestly think most of the people aren't aren't that way as they're projecting and all the all the things they project on the what am I trying to say on the stories you know about all this uh, I don't know maybe we better shut up on that one for now and move on to something else I'm tongue-tied I am tongue-tied anyway all right we'll do that we'll take another break we're back again and look who's sitting with us Danny Look at that beautiful Samuel. He is a very beautiful soul. Oh, that was a raindrop. Maybe one or two more. I think we better uh, hightail it inside. I don't know, we'll wait here. It might just be a couple little drops here and there. Maybe that's why Maxie went in so fast. Oh yeah, what do you think, Sam? Should we sit here and rough it out? Hmm? So we had a nice fire last night. We burned up some nice birch wood we got over at neighbor Jerry's. And uh, some of it was a little wet. We might go get some more later today. I don't know. There's still enough for a little small fire. But I like sitting out there. I like being outside. And I don't know if it's going to rain a lot today. We won't be outside much. But the hours in the daylight are precious. The hardest thing for me about dealing with winter, the winter itself, what's considered winter from December through the end of March, is the shortness of the days. 
spring is worse for me to deal with than winter is because we don't have springs anymore. Well, outside it looks like it, but as far as warm temperatures and what you might think of as spring and sunshine and warm weather, we don't get that, not the last couple of years anyway. So, just keep bam babbling and rambling on with a bunch of incoherent and in in unconnected thoughts and ideas. That's today's mic show. I'm fuck em all. We're going to take another coffee break. Well, look who just popped back from his adventure. He came from that way, so I don't know where he was. Still haven't seen else yet. What are you thinking, buddy? You haven't? Did you have a good adventure over there, honey? Huh? Did you have a good adventure over there? We're just plugging away at our readings and prayers and doing some breathing exercises and thinking about some things we probably shouldn't be thinking of and planning some others. We are going to ride today and we're going to enjoy it. I love to ride a bicycle, and I wish I had someone that would ride with me. Still looking for a friend to do things with me. And that's been a lifelong goal, and it's never going to happen, I don't think. So it's just me and God. God is my friend, just like Sammy's my friend. I wish he could ride a bike. Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Mikey. All right. Yeah, I'm loving this moment right now, and I'm loving this day. It's just one of those anything that can happen kind of days. I guess that's the way it was like on the old Mickey Mouse Club. Wednesday was anything can happen day, and today is Wednesday. Uh, it's possible we might get some sushi from Meyer at Meyer at Sushi Wednesday, and we haven't had that in a while, so who knows? At this point, we can only speculate. Uh-oh, Sammy got spooked. Neighbor Bob just pulled in. Look at him go. It's all right, Sam. It's all right, Sam. Yeah. It's okay. We'll take a break. There's neighbor Bob. All right. Well, we just finished our re last reading for the day, and Sammy is looking at a visitor who needs a home. This little guy needs a home. Anybody need a kitty? He's probably coming over for some breakfast. We, we didn't see him much. We saw him a lot in the spring and early summer and then we didn't see him much but now he's starting to come by on a regular basis we're gonna get him some food he needs a home he needs a good home and anybody out there could use a loving kitty these strays are the most loyal friends you'll ever have they're the most loyal ones you'll ever meet and uh I'd probably take him in, but he, he and Maxie don't get along at all, so we'll let him have some breakfast. It's in. And it's starting to rain harder and harder, so we're going to shut this thing down and regroup and head into the house. Welcome back to the Mike Show. We've regrouped, had a shave and a partial costume change. We're here with Max and Samuel. Elsie's still outside, that little cat that was out there, that big cat, he had a treat and moved on. We fired up the computer and we're going to watch what passes as news or read what passes as news. I'm not much into watching video news reports. <coughs> I like to read. So anyway, um, yeah, that's where we're at for right now. The wind is picking up. My riding today, oh look at that tree's really starting to show some color over there won't take long in a week it'll be bold red it's a crimson sunset maple so god singing to us in the chimes out there uh i don't know if there's any sign of any city chickens out there but still waiting on else and we're gonna pause one more pause and then we'll probably close out well there's my lady there's my lady hey else how are you honey how's that pretty girl did you have a good adventure hon my lady's back so that means it's probably time for us to close. We'll close this door. And we'll try and get a facial shot of her. There she is. Look at that pretty lady. How are you, hon? I love you. I love you, baby. Did you have a good adventure? Did you have a good adventure, honey? Oh, she don't want no part of that. So that's all we have for this fine Wednesday morning. 
Piss off and have a wonderful day.